So um, this is some free talking and I'm not sure where, where I'm going with this and I'm um, just communicating with the world and um, doing something, entertaining myself. So um, you should know that I've had a brain injury and it's affected my memory and my general cognition. So it's hard to think clearly and communicate clearly. So I'm working on that and trying this to try and help myself basically. So as I said, be aware that I'm not your average person. I'm uh, damaged intellectually. So what's on my mind? Um, I'm thinking is what I can remember of my past. And it's very limited because I've largely lost my memory due to my brain injury. But one of the things I was interested in was um, the relationship between men and women in society and the treatment of men and women in society. And I found that the treatment of men was unfair and the treatment of women was very positive and supportive. Treatment of men was negative and um, what I didn't see it as acceptable. I wasn't happy with it. So I made a documentary about the issues using the name man, woman, myths. One word, man, woman, myths. And I looked at various issues to do with the treatment of men and women and why I had a problem with the treatment of men. So I found that the interest from people in the documentary had been quite limited. And I'm surprised by this because I think it is a big issue for men in society. So I'm surprised that interest hasn't been higher. And um, I think it's a shame that men have not been interested in this issue. So it's as if men largely accept things where they are because um, most men, it seems, are obsessed with relationships with women and the main thing in life for most men I would say is a relationship with the woman and it's very important for a man to have a relationship with hopefully a good looking woman and it makes him happy in life and fulfilled in life. So I myself have decided to no longer seek a woman for a relationship, for romance. So I think they called it going MGTOW, men going their own way. So I've decided to stay single in life. And that's obviously a cost for me in terms of enjoyment and normal way of living. But um, it does suit me because I want to be free of what I see as the negative implications of being in a relationship. So I was formerly married and I don't know details because of my brain injury, but I'm divorced now and um, I've lost my homes, I had a house and a flat and I don't believe I have any money anymore. So it seems as if marriage and divorce has not been very good for me. I don't know details, so it's hard to understand. But um, yeah, I'm in a difficult situation. I'm in supported living, it's called, where I'm housed and fed like a rabbit in a cage. And that is my life, just existing. Um, I don't do very much in terms of therapy. There is no organized activity apart from one thing which I think is called Headway which is some kind of organization to help people with brain injuries. So I think I'm doing that once a week possibly but I don't remember stuff so it's very hard to know if it's actually happening but I believe so. So yeah it, support is very limited in that regard but I am housed and fed which is essential because I can't look after myself. So I'm glad for that. So um, I'm doing this video to communicate with the world and to occupy myself 
And I'm hoping I can think of an angle that is worthwhile. So I suppose what is on my mind is my decision to go meet up to men go their own way, to not have a relationship anymore. And so what are my reasons for not having a relationship with women anymore? Why am I making the sacrifice of being single in life from now on or for a while now, but I'm not having a relationship? And my reasons are that I think men are treated unfairly in society as regards relationships with women. It seems as if society is structured to support women and, and that is the end of the story. Everything, it seems, is set up to support women. Now, I'm thinking that women create children, so women are obviously of vital importance to the society. Now, men enable women to have children, but women do the actual work of producing children. And so I think that seems to be the clear reason why women are treated better than men. And why the support of women is what society seems to be about. And why men are treated badly in, compar in comparison and is unfair. But society basically doesn't care about men in the same way it cares about women. Men are useful and necessary, but it seems men are not valued other than for what they can do for women and what they can do for society. Men themselves are not regarded as important. Only the things that men do are important. Women, on the other hand, are regarded well for who they are and what they are not just for their function as mothers. So, I think this is a sad situation for men, it's a difficult situation, and is why there are so many negative implications, and why men, many men have very bad experiences in life. I think lots of things are at issue, and one thing I think is the suicide rate I don't know details, but I do know that men commit suicide far more than women. I think women attempt suicide a great deal, but the actual um, committing of suicide is mainly men by a, by a wide margin, I believe, but I don't know details on that. The point is that men often or can often feel that there isn't any hope for them in life. And I think this is obviously sad, and it does seem to be the case in many regards. So I'm thinking about my decision to go meet them and to not have relationship with women anymore. And I do think this is healthier for me, healthier way to live my life. I was formerly married and I, I'm now divorced and I'm not in touch with my children. And that is often the case for men who are in divorce. I think it's a terrible situation for men. And I'm thinking that I don't want to repeat that experience with a new relationship. And that's why I've decided to be single from now on. So it remains to be seen how my life turns out. But I'm wondering what else I want to discuss. I think I'll, I'll probably leave you there for now. And then maybe I'll do another talk soon when I know what it is I want to say. <laughs>